Hey YouTube, it's Lisa. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about two things that I bought from Amazon. Um, so I'm going to do a quick unboxing. I'm going to give you an update on where I am in my journey to do paper testing samples for fountain pen friendly paper. And I also want to give a special shout out to um, everyone who's been subscribing. Thank you so much. I'm over 900 subscribers. I'm almost there, guys. Thank you so much. You guys are the ones that are like keeping me going on this channel. I'm very close to hitting my goal of a thousand subscribers. So if you're coming to the channel for the first time, thank you for stopping by and checking out my channel. I also want to give a special shout out for the holidays. Um, this video is being filmed the weekend prior to Thanksgiving. So for those in North America and Canada, happy Thanksgiving. Um, be safe and have a great one. And for the rest of the world, happy holiday seasons because we're at towards the end of the year. So various festivities will be happening and hopefully the world will calm down next year and we'll have a little bit of peace. That would be great for everyone, right? So in the interim, I'm going to flip the camera around and I'm going to um, do my unboxing. I do say Yakamoto and it's Yamamoto. So when you hear me say Yakamoto, don't cringe. I realized in post um, that I was saying it incorrectly. I enunciated it incorrectly. It is Yamamoto paper versus Yakamoto paper. So there's a little tip of what's going to be coming forth. All right, take care guys. I'm going to flip the camera around. Let's get into it. Okay, welcome back. Um, let's continue on. So this is going to be a small unboxing, but I've talked about some of the other things in previous videos. And so let me explain this and then I'll explain and unbox what I have. So in previous videos, um, just a few of them ago, if you go back and listen to those videos, I talked about wanting to do paper sample swatches with other fountain pen, fountain, uh, fountain pen friendly paper. And I picked up this one from Ginny Bick in DC. Um, and I wanted to try writing with this, but I was thinking that this was going to be kind of a um, unbounded notebook so that I could rip the pages apart and possibly do a binding uh, book bind or my own notebook. And so I have this and I've had this Yakamoto paper sampler for quite some time. And as you can tell, it has um, 18 different, let me just bring this up so you can see, it has 18 different brands of copy paper. And I was thinking that I would be able to bind it, but given what I have here, I'm not. So I, what I think I'm going to do is pull out a sample of each one of these papers and now attach it to what I just received. And then I've got Iliofol paper as well, which I've heard a lot about. And I have seen a couple of other YouTubers talk about it. It's fantastic paper. I did a quick sample of what I had currently inked for November, and it's absolutely a delightful paper. A paper hopefully it will not go anywhere because as we all know once we find a paper that we like like Toma River they switch it up so it's a little bit frustrating when you're trying to kind of have kind of consistency of like how your pen and your pen inks are going so what I wanted to do in this video is talk to you about what I think I'm going to do which is like I said take a sample out of each one of these and use this and this and if I can um, actually remove the papers which I think this one is let's just look at this really quick let's see how it's found and I've never heard of this paper before so if anybody's familiar with it leave comments below and I think everybody would enjoy hearing the feedback but it's just a very plain Oh, Spirit of Artisans. I've never heard of Awagami Factory before, so it's new to me. Um, so I don't know very much about this paper. And it looks like, oh, it's a simple staple bind. So what I think I'm going to do, since the signature looks like it's just one big signature, and here is some of the ink samples that I did just testing it out um, on the paper. And it came out lovely. Um, I think I'm going to try to find the middle signature and just gently, if I can, pull out the center of this. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. I see the staple. 
Um, I might just start, yes, here we go. So I might just end up pulling these staples out and creating my own workbook because I do believe an A4 folded in half is a A5 and an A6 is half of an A5. So this Illifold paper that I got from Jet Pens is um, A5 straight straight up so I can't, and this is where I got stuck in my, my um, book binding exercise, I got thwarted. Um, I can't, I don't wanna fold it up into an A6 size, it's just gonna be a little bit too small. So, that left me with, oh my God, what, is, what am I going to do? Because I was really looking forward to actually doing some book binding on this channel to show you that. I went out to Amazon, before I open this up, and I found this A5 um, ring binder called Wonderpool. And this was really, really reasonable. I think this was like $25 or less, and it comes with, Oh, they have designs, page page dividers. So I just wanted something very, very simple. And it comes with a clip. So um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this or not, but I might use these really nice page dividers as well. And I thought for the price frame, price point, that that was a really reasonable cost. Now, this little gem is, I think, vegan leather, leather. So let me just open this up. I couldn't see myself spending the money on the hot run um, item in the journaling community of the day, which is plotter notebooks. I just found that um, the cost was a little bit beyond what I wanted. I didn't want to spend $385 for a cover. And I wasn't really sure if I was going to want, oh, this is really nice, if I want it to even be in a ring system. But for this, so I can have what ink samples look like in various notebook papers as they come and go, I would at least have a reference point. So I'm going to be using this as a ink, fountain pen ink, and swatch um, permanent keeper. This feels really, really nice. It is a nice thick of piece of leather um, it's got some bend it's got some flex it doesn't look like it has pull up but oh my gosh and yeah it smells like leather so this is genuine leather and I think the ring size is a really good size and as you can see it already comes with some paper I'm going to pull all of this paper out and I'm going to use the paper that I want to use so this is a nice little tie um, let me zoom in a little bit. Tie strap that's made out of leather with these cute little charms on it. And I mean, this is just really adorable. So it's nice um, orientation on that strap. It comes back here. Oh my goodness, there's a pen in here too. I didn't realize that it came with a pen. It comes with a pen, people. Um, I don't need said ballpoint pen, but that to the side it comes with a nice ballpoint pen if you need it I think the nib unit on this is a little bit too thick for my liking let's see if I can get it in here it looks like it's definitely like a 0.7 ballpoint pen it also comes with and let me zoom back out here comes with page dividers with a little zip pocket. Okay, so the zip pocket in here, the zip pocket in here is a little, I don't know how well this is gonna hold up. It looks like it got a little bit of damage in shipping with it rubbing against uh, the pin loop here. This seems simple enough that if it actually becomes damaged that or wears thin or breaks that it can be replaced by just going to like a craft store and replacing that. So that's good to know. Okay, so it has a nice little end paper here and this one has, oh, and it has a today. Sorry, I did it from back to front. Um, it has a today ruler, which is very nice. So that's automatically um, part of the ensemble. And then a front page plastic cover to protect your book. 
and then it has this loose leaf paper that already has some pre-made memo notes. So um, in here you can connotate the weather here and then you can indicate the day of the week down here in this box and then over here you can write down what the memo number is and the dates date information so I might end up using this as a cover sheet to explain what I have so I'll take all of these out let me just do this and the rings oh, I'm sorry let's look at the rings I'm not used to ring binder systems there's nothing to protect the ring indentation but yet it's not showing currently along the spine at all this did come in multiple different uh, multiple colors so you can get it in different colors other than this I chose the wine red because I love red but I just find that this is absolutely gorgeous um, and I know that this is going to probably show indentation from the rings but I don't mind that I'll just show that it's been well loved and cared for and then the rings I'm not exactly sure what size the rings are I will link it below or put it in the description below if I can um, determine what the ring size is. But I think this is twice the size of what you would get if you were going to use um, the plotter. All right, so let's see how easy things open. And it's still stiff. That took a little bit of effort, but I'm going to go ahead and move this over and the end page and I'm going to keep just one of these um, well actually I'll do two I'll keep two of these pieces of paper because I want to do a test sheet of this paper too to see how fountain pen fountain pen friendly it is and then I'm going to attach the rest and put it to the side and use them as I see fit all right so that is the bulk of that um, it looked like on the Amazon site they clipped this to the leather cover so when I put the link to Amazon you can see it there um, it's a nice touch I just don't know if I need it maybe it was to like actually hold is a page marker so it will hold your pages in place I don't know if I want to really do that in this case um, and then we've got these nice ring inserts and I don't know if everyone has a different pattern or design on it so let's open that up and check that out so the first one <coughs> excuse me is this one oh they do <coughs> excuse me each each uh, divider tab has a different design on it Sorry about that guys, uh, had a little bit of a coughing spurt there. Um, so each one of these have a different color on it and design logo on the cover page. Currently I have no use for that so I will be setting those to the side as well. Um, but the main attraction for me right now is just, um, I'm gonna just keep a couple of these pages in here and then I'm going to go ahead and try to get some pages from the sample paper so that we can actually try this out. So this is Irifol, but as I saw said previously, I'm sorry, as I said previously, I don't have a way to like get that in. So I ended up buying this puncher, the six hole adjustable puncher on Amazon. Um, this was almost the same amount of money as it was for the cover, but all in, I felt like I would now have a adjustable punch that I can use and if I ever decide to get rings um, system I have a little tiny albeit small but powerful hopefully um, six hole puncher for this so and this is by a brand called Bira 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 I'm sorry if I'm butchering the name but um, it is a um, six hole adjustable punch so what I'm going to do now is try to figure this out and look at what we've got here so it says back view paper guide there's an adju adjustment aligner so this must be the back I guess this holds that this must hold it locked down so it stays nice and compact 
Um, here is the adjuster. Pulling out a five. There's an A4, A3, and then it pulls completely out of this adjustment system in the back. So that's good to know. And it's easy to, like if I, I just pulled it out, but if you pull it out, it's easy to put it back in. I think I have just freed it. Yeah. This will lock it down and this will unlock it. So it's really as simple as just pushing this, moving it one from left to right. That locks it and this unlocks it. Then on this adjuster, you have designated marks for um, A5 personal file effects or dust facts. They call it A6 agenda, pocket mini, etc. So that is that. And then this is your punch out hole tray where the um, discarded punched holes will come in. So let me pull out the Illifo paper and see if we can get this to work as it should, hopefully. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull out a few of a few of these sheets. I don't need to try to do the whole thing at this time. Um, I'm really glad I bought multiple packs of this from Jet Pens because um, I really do think I'm going to like it and it's going to be a winner. And hopefully this can actually punch at least let's say three sheets at a time. So let's just try that. And let's see if we can get this to go. That looks like that's it. Okay, so I have it adjusted to A5. It looks like that's correct. Let's try one page first. I'd rather ruin one sheet of paper than ruin three. This really hidden resource. Easy peasy to go ahead and use the puncher and I'm hoping I'm in frame I can't really see and it looks like it was successful. Yes, perfect. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and continue to punch. Make sure I didn't um, make the, the guide slide here. I'm going to go ahead and adjust this. I was going to get the file facts one because it also was like the um, it was also like able to slot into the ring system of a of a binder, but I read the reviews and I, then I saw how it operated and I was not impressed at how flimsy it was. Um, and even somebody in the reviewer said, "Don't trust it. It's." It's too finicky, and it is. But this can do several sheets of paper at one time, so it's making the whole hole punching um, endeavor much quicker. Um, Okay, so that takes care of the Illifo paper. And for now, I am going to go ahead and use one of these um, dividers just so I can um, separate my papers. And those are going to fall loose out, get the little dots out of the way. Thankfully, they were pre-punched quite well. And this is my first time um, really using a ring system. I have been pretty much ring um, glue bound or bounded notebooks versus using rings. So I'm quite pleased with this purchase for only $5. And let me go ahead and try to now take apart some of these A4s. I need to cut them 
and I will be right back when I'm done with that. All right, guys, so as, as you can see at this point, I have done um, some of the Ilifo paper and I've done some of the other paper from, from this uh, notebook brand called Agami Spirit of the Artisan um, paper. So I'm gonna stop here and then if I can continue forward, I've gotta figure out how I'm going to get the changes off of the 
sample pack because in here between each one of the sorry for the little bit of AMSR as I open this up so out of the sample pack of this premium paper from uh, Yakamoto I have to figure out how I'm going to keep or retain the description for each one of these so I want to somehow or another get this kind of shrunk down which is going to be really tiny but I want to put one in between each sheet of this paper I think I have um, only a few samples I think I get three samples of each paper so I'm only going to be ripping out just a couple of sheets maybe of of these um, papers so that I can inter disperse them so I know when I'm doing the writing samples what I'm using for what, or I might just pick <clears throat> at a time and kind of rifle through this. I'll do all three of the all three of these sheets and put them in, but um, kind of show you as I go through this pad the different kinds of paper. So I got to put a little bit more thought behind how I want to execute. But what you need to know for today and today's takeaway as it's currently setting, um, I've got this wonderful Takumi paper, Spirit of the Artisan. And I've got Illifold paper that I will be starting to demo from now on when I do writing samples. They're now sitting in this A5 and I've got a little cover sheet so I can explain, you know, the papers that I have and what inks I might use this as a log sheet actually is what I might end up doing um, so that I know what's going on and I probably can stick one in front of each section. So I have markers or page holders that I didn't think I was going to use that I might end up incorporating into this um, binder for now but I'm gonna go ahead and put these in just so I don't lose track of them because I put all my excessive sheets of this um, came was in here so I just have them now packaged all in here so I can have them for future use so that's all I have for you today if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you have any questions or comments leave them below and thank you so much subscribers I really do appreciate you guys helping me reach my goal of trying to get to a thousand I'm very stoked for 2024 in that regards. All right, until next time, take care, stay safe. I'll talk to you later. Bye.